Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris here again, and today I want to talk to you about something that I think is super cool. I'm talking about the PS4 Remote Play for PC and Mac. Basically what this lets you do is... uh, literally play your PS4 on a PC or a Mac. And if you're thinking, why would I ever want to do that? Well, it works over the internet. If where you are is where your PS4 is not, then this is awesome. For example, while my Dell XPS 15 is fairly gaming capable, I'm playing The Witcher 3 right now on my PS4, and for any of you who haven't played The Witcher 3, when you're playing The Witcher 3 and you want to play The Witcher 3, that's a niche you can't scratch unless you play The Witcher 3. Now, If I'm at my girlfriend's house, I don't have my PS4, and I can't play The Witcher 3, except now I can. The full list of things you need are a PS4, a high-speed internet connection, Sony recommends at least 5 megabits per second upload and download, um, the PS4 controller, and you're also going to need a micro USB cable to connect your PS4 controller to your computer. It would be the same cable you use to charge the controller. And a computer. And like I said earlier, this is PC or Mac. Both are compatible. Now another thing I almost forgot to mention is you're gonna wanna make sure that your PS4 has the best internet connection it can get. So if you can plug it into the internet connection, like over ethernet, that's gonna be the best results. Otherwise, um, just keep it as close to your router as you can. The stronger the internet connection, the more smooth your gameplay should be when you're using remote play. Now this feature was introduced in PlayStation 4 firmware version 3.50, so to use it, you're gonna have to make sure you have that. Now to do that, all you have to do is go over to your settings in the main menu here, and scroll down to system, system information, and boom, you should see here, system software 3.5. Now, since we're on our PS4 already, I'm gonna cover the basics of making sure you're ready to use it on your PS4. First up, it's gotta be your PlayStation Network primary PS4. So to make sure it's your primary account, just scroll up to PlayStation Network slash account management, and you're gonna see this option down here, activate as your primary PS4, click on that. Now, if activate is grayed out, then it means this is already your primary PS4, but if deactivate is grayed out and activate is like an actual active button that you can click, then just click on activate and it'll set this as your primary PS4. You'll also want to make sure you just go into the remote play settings and make sure that's checked off. If remote play is not enabled, then you can't remote play. Go figure. So let's go back out of that, and this time just go down to power save settings. Once you're in there, hit set features available in rest mode, and you're going to want to make sure that stay connected to the internet is checked and also enable turning on PS4 from network. So what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to leave your PS4 in rest mode and then when you log in to play remote play it'll actually turn your PS4 on for you. You don't have to leave your PS4 on just in rest mode, which I already always do because I like to be able to pick up from my games right where I was. All right, so this next part is all about setting it up on your computer. So you're going to want to head to the link in the description um, to Sony's website. And you're gonna see this right here on the top. It's uh, download for Windows PC or download for Mac. Just pick the appropriate one for you. If you're on a Mac, Mac, and if you're on Windows, Windows PC. Simple as that. Once you've got it downloaded, you're gonna wanna run the installer. It might not actually have an installer on Mac. Uh, Some of them don't, but otherwise this all should be the same on Windows and Mac, just the same process. Whatever your language is, next, accept, next, next install and finish that was quick all right so next part just launch the app and the first thing it's going to ask you to do is connect your ps4 controller to the computer using the micro usb cable so if you've already done this it's still going to come up it doesn't change when you plug it in at least that i've noticed so if it's already plugged in just hit start otherwise plug it in and hit start And for this part, since we are actually going to be using Remote Play right here, you should have your PS4 already either on or in rest mode. I would personally leave it in rest mode, you don't want to leave it on 24-7. Whereas rest mode is like just sleep mode, it's fine. And it's going to give you this searching nearby. And it's going to just ask you right here to sign into your PlayStation Network account, so go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and set mine to save my password, it's just going to make it easier. And hit sign in. So this typically really does take a minute or two. It's not that bad, just have a little patience, it should connect. 
Now, if you're doing this at home just to test it like I am, you should actually hear or see your PS4 fire up. That means it's working. It's connected to your PS4. Now it's just getting it going and uh, should be able to jump into the game pretty soon here. And once it does, it'll just pop up like this. Here you go. You can uh, come down here with your mouse and hit full screen. And you're in it. You're actually controlling your PS4 over the internet right now. So you see it can jump into The Witcher. And there it is. I'm actually playing The Witcher. So the recording I took of this came out super choppy. It's actually not nearly that bad. It was totally playable. Um, another thing is there definitely is like some input lag, but uh, just give it a try yourself and uh, see if it's something you can put up with. And this is going over the internet. So I am actually in the same room as my PS4 right now, but I could be doing this like from anywhere that I have a decent internet connection. Like I said, when I'm at my girlfriend's house, I'm gonna be playing a lot of The Witcher that I wasn't able to do before. Um, when you're ready to quit, I just go and hold down on the PlayStation button and I put it back in rest mode. It'll take a second to do that and then it's gonna pop up and tell you that it lost the connection to the PS4. That's because now the PS4 is in rest mode. See, there it is, just hit okay. And you're good, you can close out of the app because I guess you're done playing. When you want to play again, just open up the app again and reconnect. It's as simple as that. If you find it's running nice and smooth, you can try cranking up the quality a little bit. If you go, when you first open the Remote Play app, if you go to the settings in the bottom left here, you can change the stream quality up to 720p, and you can set the frame rate to, like, higher. It doesn't actually give you an exact number, but um, that will all make it look more smooth as long as your internet connection on your computer and PS4 are good enough. So that's it guys, if you have any questions, let me know with a comment, otherwise, let me know what you think of this. I, like I said a couple times, think this is really cool. I really wanna be using this a lot. I mean, I've played a little bit of The Witcher on it and it seems to be fine. Well, thanks for watching. Um, if you wanna see something else, check out this video where I show you how to connect your PS4 controller to your phone to game on that. And uh, if you really, really like this video, get subscribed. Let me know your thoughts with a comment or a like or a dislike. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching.